fans of Warhammer 40,000, Blanchett, Sue, and unreasonably angry Space Marines. Thank you very much for joining me for a Out of a Pack review. And today we are moving forward to the era of Warhammer 40,000. This isn't a heresy video. Well, not specifically. And that's because I've bought a brand new plastic Space Marine. This is the first new release plastic Space Marine I have bought since 2017 when the Primaris Marines first came out. Gosh, I deserve a medal or something, don't I? And we are looking today at none other than this miniature here, the Black Templars Castellan. And what a fine fellow that looks. This is a, a kind of like a, I don't know, like a, a one-off special miniature that uh, has been released. It's, what did it cost? I think it was 21 pounds. I got it at my FLGS, so it was 16.80 in pounds of a sterling. So that was okay, I thought, for a single miniature from Citadel. And the reason I bought it is it's a miniature realisation of a classic piece of John Blanche Warhammer 40,000 artwork. And that is none other than what we saw on the front cover of the third edition Warhammer 40,000 rulebook. And it's this geezer here, which has been turned into this miniature here. And what we'll do now is we'll have a better look at that image. There you go. You can actually see it more clearly. And there's a miniature. So I thought this would be, I, I really like the artwork and I like these kind of one-off classics. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unbox it. We'll have a look at the sprue and have a look at the details. Quality shouldn't be an issue here. This is a plastic miniature. If there's any problems with the quality, then uh, I will be most surprised. So first of the, should I remove the wrap? Have a better look at the dude. And he's in this rather unique suit of powered armor, which we might, I don't know, it's sort of somewhat derived from perhaps Mark VI and Mark V, and maybe a dash of Mark VII in there. Something quite interesting and unique. So yeah, it's a single miniature. You get a few views, a little bit of yeah, the usual bump. Not too interested in that. It comes in one of these little plastic sheets or trays with instructions. Ah, sounds like the base is there and a pamphlet. So let's start off at the start with the pamphletio. And we'll put that there. There, look at that. See? Ooh, it's wobbling. Right, the pamphlet. So, Castellan. We have a run through of how to assemble the Castellan. And, oh, we even get a profile for said Castellan. Now, this miniature caused something of a, a bit of a discussion at in the online spheres, because the question was, is it a Primaris Marine? Now, canonically, by the piece of art, it's not a Primaris Marine, but um, I believe it was someone on some part of the Warhammer community website type thing, engagement marketing team, who said it could be either, which I thought was a very good way of not answering the question and making it more attractive to buy. I bought it on the assumption it's a classic Marine, and that's probably going to be where I use it. Um, I have ideas to heresify this one, as in use it for the heresy game. Comes with a 40 millimeter base, so he's obviously quite a bit of a chunky guy. But I have a feeling he will fit on 32. So let's have a look. Now, detail wise, I think this guy's awesome. He has a many, many skulled rims to his pauldrons. And he has a chest armor of many tubes. So perhaps this would also convert well to be Nurglesque. We have a suitably iconified power pack. Grab his power axe now. There's a slightly peculiar hold on the power axe. That is very much a reflection of how the art was done. So it's a faithful reproduction of the artwork. He has a combi flamer, which seems very appropriate for a Templar. And on that, it even says Templars. So for a heresification project, this is probably going to be a weapon swap. Hmm. Yeah, I love details. And he, he has this, the pauldrons of much scullage. Not only does he have 
pauldron piping in a bounty of skulls. He also has actual skulls in the centre. Some clever cutting of the parts here on the rims of the larger skull motifs for the multi-part model. So clearly there's not much opportunity to repose this in the legs because of the way it's been assembled. Not without some very hefty rework. Not impossible perhaps, but there's quite a lot of rebuilding to do. But in terms of the arms, that's quite easy to swap those around. The head looks like it is a standard size Space Marine. It's got this nice optic. I think that will convert rather well. I mean, if you wanted to put another helmet on, you could very much do so. So some lovely bits here. I think just as a, a miniature in of itself, it's a really interesting piece. I love the John Blanche heritage of the design, and I think it's been created with some care and attention. Now, I wonder how tall he is. Here we've got an Iron Hand Medic. I reckon he's probably about the same height as a normal Space Marine, maybe a soups on higher. He might be the same height as the current Chaos Space Marines, but not as tall as a Primaris Marine. How's it compared to this guy? This is the Primaris Medicae. Yeah, comparable height to him. He's in Terminator armor. There you go. So, lovely miniature. Some absolutely fantastic detailing. In particular, the pauldron edging in skulls, I think, is very well done indeed. Yeah, I do like this. And, you know, a nice bit of remembering the heritage of the Warhammer 40,000 game. So, there you go. I hope you found this an interesting little unboxing. As always, please do share your comments and observations in the comment section of all places, because if you shared them on the moon, I wouldn't see them. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time, and goodbye.